Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. In Outlook, you can navigate to the various folders in your account and display their contents using the navigation pane. This is the leftmost pane in the Outlook screen by default. If using Outlook 2010, you can set the display of the navigation pane by clicking the View tab that appears in the ribbon and then clicking the Navigation Pane button within the Layout group. If using Outlook 2007, you can set the display of the Navigation Pane by selecting View and then Navigation Pane from the menu bar. In either version, you can then set the display options that you prefer in the menu of choices that are available. The Navigation Pane is broken into separate sections, which are shown in the headings. You can click on one of these headings, or one of the buttons in the bottom heading section, to view the Outlook folders that are displayed within that section. For example, if you click the Mail heading, you will see your Inbox Mail folder, the Drafts folder, and other mail-related folders appear within the Navigation pane. The sections that you can access through the displayed headings are Mail, Calendar, Contacts, and Tasks. At the bottom of the navigation pane are three buttons that you can click to access additional sections. They are Notes, Folder List, and Shortcuts. If you click on a folder that's displayed within the navigation pane, the contents of that folder will then be displayed in the pane to the right of the navigation pane. For example, clicking on the Inbox folder will display a listing of the email that you have received to the right of the navigation pane. Clicking the Calendar folder in the Navigation pane displays the calendar to the right of the Navigation pane. You can then access the contents of the folder in the pane that appears to the right. Now if you select one of the Mail folders from the Navigation pane, you will also have access to the Reading pane. This pane displays the contents of the currently selected mail message. If using Outlook 2010, you can set the display of the Reading pane by clicking the View tab in the ribbon and then clicking the Reading pane button in the Layout group. If using Outlook 2007, you can set the display of the Reading pane by selecting View and then choosing Reading pane from the menu bar. You can then set the display options that you prefer in the menu of choices that appears. At the right side of the Outlook window is the To-Do bar. This bar shows your calendar as well as any appointments and tasks that you should be made aware of. If using Outlook 2010, you can set the display of the To-Do bar by clicking the View tab in the ribbon and then clicking the To-Do bar button in the Layout group. If using Outlook 2007, you can set the display of the To-Do bar by selecting View and then choosing To-Do bar from the menu bar. You can then set the display options that you prefer in the menu of choices that appears. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.